right guys, good afternoon. Good afternoon to anyone watching this video. It's afternoon, it's 3 p.m. here where I'm at. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night to whoever is watching and your time zone to wherever you're watching. So today's topic I'm gonna to talk about anxiety and topic about derealization, depersonalization. I've been struggling with this topic a lot and it's been affecting my day-to-day -day life so i want to kind of share some perspective about my situation as of today september the 23rd 2003 oh, sorry, i'm sorry just september the 23rd 2023 that was 10 years back so um so this is kind of my story Back in January 29, 2000, and, no, back in September the 14th of 2022, I had a horrible weed experience. I was smoking uh, cartridges, I was smoking a weed cartridge, a weed cart, and uh, basically that led me into something, into, I had a horrible weed high, I was hyper aware of myself. I was getting some strong existential thoughts. Uh, I just felt weird, weird, weird. Like it straight up like detached me from myself, from my body, from like my surroundings. My surroundings felt weird. I felt weird being in a physical reality. Like every, all, everything felt fake. Ugh. Straight up, I would imagine like the planet Earth, and I was like, "What the hell? We're here, on planet Earth, in the middle of nowhere in space. And there's a moon, there's a sun, there's planets around us. We're in the solar system, and I was just like, you know, my my, my head was just going all crazy, and I was just like high as hell. And my heart, my my, my um, heart started pounding. I was like, fuck, 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 and I started sweating. I was like, wait, 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 God, oh my 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 god, I was just shaking out. Just wanted it to, it's, yeah, I wanted to get the high out of the way. But you know, it was just a super intense, super intense. I was like, I, I had to calm down. I was like breathing, breathing in, breathing out. And that shit kept kept on going for like two, three hours straight up. It was, it was a horrible experience. And that specific experience that traumatized me. Because it, it it started to linger in my head. After I I, I did it again in November, November the fourteenth. It was like straight up like two months, three months in between. Yeah, three months in between. Um, I did it in November again. And I got the same experience. I was just like hyper. I had to call my my wife, my back then girlfriend. She was now my wife. We married. And I was like, nah, baby, I just did this shit. I'm I'm feeling horrible. And she just started to calm me down and. Um, the phone she was like okay everything's gonna be fine just breathe you're gonna be okay it's gonna be fine it's just it's just a weed okay, it's just a weed i start to repeat it myself and it, was, it was a horrible experience man. sorry same experience i was just calm, calming down calming myself down and um I continued doing Delta. I bought. I remember. I was like, "All right, fuck." Excuse my language. I mean, damn. I can't do Delta Nine. I started looking on the internet. I started obsessing about it, and I was like, "Okay." I was just trying to look for solutions with cannabis because I smoked cannabis my whole life from 17 to like 29. I started smoking the cannabis. The cannabis was my go-to to relax. It was. It was a horrible addiction I had with it, and once it started hitting me bad. I couldn't accept it. I thought it was a medicine for me. And I had this stupid idea that you know it's it's the it's the holy plant. It's the medicine. It's it's great for you, but it, it really it, it's not. It, it, it's it's not the holy plant. It it could work for some people. I'm not, I'm not I'm not um, bashing on, on, on cannabis because I know a lot of people benefit from it, but it's it's not that holy plant. Some people have horrible effects from it, and I'm one of them. You know. Especially THC, like, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not bashing like the, the cannabis plant, but THC it has its its 
it's, it has its positive and it has its negative and you know some people can go towards the negative and it could be horrible it could just end up horrible and this is an advice from three young people so anyway um going back to that topic uh i quit in november i started doing delta 8 on december and I, I got my first strong dpdr on december the 31st i remember it was new year's eve i was eating with my mom just the world seemed fake as hell and I would look up the sky and I was looking at the clouds and everything just felt fake like I just started questioning it. why in the world am I existing why am I here why am I here what the hell is the sky like what the hell clouds and I was just like I feel like so out of it and I was like do I still have weed in my system this is it just like coming up, I don't know, just felt super damn weird. And I remember I remember I was drinking coffee, so I can also blame it on that. Like I remember I drank a lot of coffee that day and I was like straight up I was having a panic attack and my hands were sweating and I just like closed my eyes and I was like Once you have a DVDR episode, your, your logic goes away completely, <laughs> you know. So, fast forwarding, I uh, didn't have an episode until I, I went to Colombia. Like, I actually live in Colombia now. That's why I have a little bit of an accent. I'm actually Colombian. I mean, I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an American, but I grew up in Colombia like a big part of my life. That's why I have a, have a bit of a Hispanic accent or whatever. So, excuse me if I have an accent. But anyways, it was January, January the 20th. Okay, so I, it was January the 24th. I came back. I got sick. I had a cold. This is when shit hit the fan, the fan for me. Uh, I came back to, to Miami. I was living in Miami back then. And I, I took a medicine. It was called Mucinex. Mucinex. I don't know. It's, it has DXM. Detro. I don't know how to mention that. It's DXM for people to know. It's, a, it's, a, it's an, an, an ingredient on cough medicines and oh my god did that shit hit me bad bro I took it for three days and I remember when I was getting out of my cold I went to eat with, with, with my mom at Chili's and I had the worst panic attack in my fucking life oh, excuse my language I'm sorry I had the worst panic attack in my life I was straight up going crazy as Hell, I thought I was gonna die. Straight up, I was telling mom, I don't feel good, I don't feel good, I don't feel good. I was shaking, 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 I don't feel good. I had to leave, I had to leave the restaurant outside. I was holding myself. And I remember look at the sun, I was, ugh, everything felt weird. I was dissociated more than ever. I went to the emergency room, I was like, mom, take me to the hospital. And the doctor was like, "You're fine. You don't have nothing. Your vital work, everything is is fine. You know, your 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 pulse rate is perfect. Your blood pressure perfect. Um, you just had a panic attack. Just go home and get over it, basically." <laughs> and after that incident, I remember the next day I was having had a terrible DPDR episode. Terrible, terrible. I was going to die again. I was like, what the hell is happening? And since then, it was constant, man. Every day, every day. The world felt, felt fake. Everything felt like dreamlike. My God. I, start, I, 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 I started, um, I, I, I was still drinking coffee. I remember on February the 18th, I went to eat, to eat with my mom. Lunch at Brickle. And I straight up. I thought I was gonna go nuts. I was eating my, my food. I, I had some good days, bad days, but I, I was at DVDR. I felt I felt off. Every single day I was feeling off. I was like, there's something wrong with me. Something is just wrong with me. I'm not the same Michael from last year or previous months. Like I, I just knew that something was wrong with me. So I 
just I remember the dates because each day when each horrible date is just like straight up in my mind like each day like February the 18th it was a Saturday I was eating with my mom and I just thought I was gonna hallucinate I thought my mom was like straight up gonna turn into a dragon or whatever I don't know I was like I'm gonna lose my mind like existence is just a dream like straight up I felt like existence was a dream this shit was fake what the hell am I doing here I had to walk it off like I, I, was, I was straight up in some psychosis mode psychotic mode I'm sorry I was experiencing a psychosis I don't know what the hell was I was experiencing but it, it's it's. I mean I know like VPDR is not a psychotic episode but it's it, it goes hand I mean it's similar I guess I don't know guessing i don't know so that shit kept, it kept going man it kept going i remember that on on march the 6th i think march the no march march the 3rd i was i was at the gym no i remember i quit i quit sorry i quit coffee on, on after after that episode on february the 18th i quit coffee i'm like coffee is not for me no more coffee i switched it to um yerba mate it's from from argentina Started drinking yerba mate and um, matcha tea from Japan. Um, some green tea too. I was drinking, you know, basically um, teas from food. They still had caffeine. And, uh, man, the caffeine was it was just not doing... I think it was the caffeine as well. Because it, it was... I remember on, on it was on March the 3rd of this year, of 2023. I was drinking black tea that day. And... Uh, I was going to the gym that day and, and I had a straight up panic attack, a horrible panic attack. Like the world again, it seemed fake. Everything was bright as hell. I was losing my mind, like straight up losing my mind. I was like, what the hell am I? Again, like the questions, what the hell am I doing here? What is going wrong with me? Am I losing my mind or what? What, what the hell am I gonna die am I, am I gonna die here what happens after death just these questions these questions these questions you know the existential questions just, and I was at the gym dude. I was like alone at the gym and everything everyone was just like everything was bizarre dude. like just imagine like seeing everything for the first time man I was freaking out at the gym I was about to, to leave the gym but I was like you know in my mind I was like you know Michael just just control it control it and, and don't 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 freak out everything's gonna be okay it's 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 all in your head so i i, I pushed through you know I, I did my weights and i did some cardio and after the cardio i was feeling better you know i was doing okay so i decided to quit caffeine on march the third and ever since i had enough caffeine but i remember on march the sixth that was a that was a monday and that was a monday yeah uh, if, I, if i'm not wrong that was the worst one man Quick caffeine. I was three days clean on caffeine. You know, I remember I went. I was walk. I was working on a call center back back then. Uh, where I was working from home. And I finished my shift and I went. I, I usually I, usually after I was done working, I would go for a walk around the complex. During that walk, I was just it was horrible. Like a lie, it was like straight up like. Those feelings were coming back. My hands started sweating, and I was just looking around, looking at the sky. And it's, to anyone who knows about DPDR, you know, derealization, depersonalization. You know, you know that feeling. You know when it's coming. Your back starts getting all hot. Your head starts feeling weird. You know, you start sweating. You start, you know, shaking. You know, your skin feels weird. You know, you just you just feel weird. You know, you feel off. And that's how, you know, I started walking around and I was like, what is happening? Whoa, my God, why am I in this planet? Why am I in this universe? What the hell is this, you know? Oh my God, I was freaking out. I was having a straight up panic attack and I was, you know, I was walking through and eventually I called my, 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 my girl again, wife, my, my girlfriend back then, you know, that she's my wife now. I was calling my wife. I was telling her like, "Hey, like this is just going out of this is out of control." You know, I just I was almost crying. You know, like, well, I, am I ever gonna be back to normal? You know, I'm like, what, what is wrong with me? Why is this happening to me? 
did, did I unlock the, the Matrix or what the hell? You know, you just start getting into this weird loop, loop, loopholes of, 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 of thoughts, you know? And she ended up calling my mom, telling my mom. My mom was like just desperate about the whole situation. We ended up calling a psychologist that had some therapy for for like a month. It didn't work for crap, to be honest. Work. So, yeah, I, I had therapy for like for like a month, and then uh, didn't work. And I eventually came back to Colombia. For, to, um, I, I was planning on moving actually over here after the, the incident with, with the with the cold medicine. So I came back to Colombia. I, I I came to Colombia to, to not to settle, but just to look for an apartment and whatnot for to this apartment when I'm living at right now. And uh, I found the psychiatrist. And that's the one I'm seeing currently seeing. That this is work I'm kinda at right now. So I found uh, a psychiatrist, I'm actually seeing him. He medicated me with uh, Trintelix, 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 I don't know how you mention it, but it's it's called Brintelix here in Colombia, but I know in the States it's called Trintelix. And I've been taking uh, 10 milligrams of Trintelix, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's worked, but it's it hasn't worked either that much, because I'm still getting episodes here and there. I'm, I'm, this is where I'm at, I'm, I'm, I'm a little better than previous months than at the beginning of the year. But I still get episodes. I still get episodes. And then, uh, so yeah, I've been, he's been treating me. He gave me clonazepam as well for emergencies. Um, so the clonazepam drops. I just put like 10 drops. That's that's like equivalent to like 0 0.5 milligrams, if I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah 0 0.5. Um... Yeah, I've been treating myself, and then I make this stupid mistake. This is my. This is this is this was just like two weeks ago, two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago. It was on September the thirteenth. Uh, I thought that maybe my problems would be solved with what actually caused the problem, which at the beginning, which is weed, and I had a fallback. Uh, I'm sorry, I had a. Uh, fall back I had a relapse uh, I thought maybe if I take one hit of, in, of an indica strain it would help me since indica is more like body high it relaxes you and I took that first hit dude and it's I'm going to take a sip because it freaks me out just thinking about it and I went to paranoid land man <laughs> Man, I was, and my wife, she was gonna try it with me and whatnot. And, uh, man, that shit just hit me to, to paranoid land. I was not enjoying that shit at all. I was not enjoying that shit at all, man. I mean, and I gave it a shot. I tried, she bought me a vaporizer to see if maybe the low temperature would work. And it basically just sent me into, into a terrible place. It was every time I took it. And it was just, I was just walking around the house, walking around the house like crazy, just back and forth, back and forth until Wednesday, this Wednesday, that was three days ago, yeah, three days ago, um, I took it on the morning, I was like, okay, maybe in the morning, if I take low temperature, I'll be good uh, during the day, because I was doing it at night, and boy, was that a mistake, you know? took a you know a hit from the vape to see if it would work I just started sweating the world seemed fake and uh, it was just straight up horrible I had to take my shirt off I was sweating sweating walking walking I was like man the world seems fake the world seems fake what happens when we die why why are we in this planet or there are other planets, you know, just just loopholes of of existential thoughts. 
I was straight up like, oh man, am I like having a type of OC, OC, existential OCD uh, with the, with DPDR? What, what do I have? So it, it got to the point it was so bad I had to take my my clonazepam, and you know that's basically what calmed me down. And that was, that was on Wednesday. I've been good. I've been doing relatively good these days. But that's kind of been my DPDR journey at the moment been struggling with it. I'm still struggling with it and I want to kind of document this journey with you guys that's why I'm going to start um, posting some videos here and uh, I just kind of want to uh, document my recovery with DVDR because I know a lot of people need need some answers uh, with, 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 with this condition and there's not much information regard, regarding this uh, debilitating condition to not say the least, because it's, it really is debilitating to so anyone suffering. You know what I'm talking about. And you try to explain it to people, people don't really understand you. And I'm also trying to to see, to, you know, to connect with people with the same condition. And we can, you know, we can help each other and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of basically my story. I wanted to, you know, post my story here. I wish you guys the best to anyone suffering from this. We'll get over it. It's just not a life sentence condition. But it's 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 not easy. I'm just gonna tell you that. And from what I've read, it's not easy. Some people struggle with this for a very long time. But as well, a lot of people recover from this. And there's there's a there's a light um, out the tunnel, out of out the tunnel. So, guys, you know, thanks for. Uh, if you if you watch the whole video, thanks for for for, for you know paying attention to, to, to all this to, to to my story and everything. You know, I really appreciate it, uh, and I hope you guys the best. I hope you, you, you I hope everyone. And I hope people who don't have it will never have it, and and, I, and anyone struggling, anyone struggling, I hope to help you recover. Okay, because. Cause it's tough, you know. But anyways, you know, peace. And enjoy your day, your week, if you're watching during the week or whatever. <laughs> Cheers.